Hey guys, welcome to this channel. This is Abhishek Mamadi. In this video, we will see how to do modeling in PySpark using Spark ML. Here are the contents of this video. We will start with setting up the PySpark environment and then reading data for the modeling exercise and pre processing the data so that we can directly use it for modeling and modeling using Spark ML. And at the end, we do prediction on the test data to see if our the pipeline is working or not and evaluation of our predictions. Let's get started with setting up the PySpark environment. I have created a video on this already and if you have watched my previous videos, you can skip this chapter and you can directly copy paste this entire cell and use it to set up your PySpark environment. And just to give you an overview uh, of what are the steps that we have in setting up the PySpark environment. First of all, we have to install Java and then download Apache Spark binary and uh, unzip that file and also install find spark and pi spark and add them to the environment variable so that we can locate spark in the system. Let me run this. Let me initialize the spark session and we would get spark session object as an output. In this video, I am planning to use bind quality red data set from UCI. Let me download the data and save it in sample data folder. Let me run this command. And once we have this, we should be able to save this data in sample data folder and I am reading it from sample data folder using spark.read command. Awesome. Now we have the data set. Let's see what are the different functions that we have to import. I am importing all the functions, PySpark functions and also the types. And then from PySpark.ml, I am importing string indexer and one chord encoder. And string indexer is something similar to label encoder with which gives a label to each category. Right. For modeling, we have to convert all the categorical variables into numerical columns. So uh, in string indexer will be helpful in those cases. One hot encoder is helpful to create a one hot encoding vector. And then we have vector assembler. So for modeling, it takes a vector as an input. So we have to command all the features and create a vector and then we have to send it to the modeling. For modeling, I am importing decision tree classifier from PySpark.ml.classification. Let me import this. In this data set, we have only numerical columns. We don't have categorical columns. For explanation purposes, I am creating a categorical column. So what I am doing is I am converting this alcohol uh, into high and low based on the average that we have. So average of this column is 10.5. If the alcohol value is greater than 10.5, I am keeping it as high. Otherwise, it is a low so that we get a categorical column. Let me run this command here. For high, we have 616 and for low, we have 983 data points. And also the target variable is quality here. I mean, uh, it's a quality ranging from three to eight. And we will treat this as a multi classification problem. We have stored the data in spark underscore DF. Let me split the spark underscore DF into train and test data frames. And for that, I am using random split and 80% and 20%. And this is the seed I am giving as level. Let me run this and see the number of training samples and test samples. And the train samples we have 1200 approximately 1300 and the test samples we have around 320 awesome now we have the data set ready let's start with the modeling but before modeling we have to do some sort of pre-processing right because we have categorical features and also we have to convert these features into a vector let's see how we can do this before that let me just print the data set uh, just to see how it is we have different columns like fixed acidity Volatile acidity, okay, residual sugar, density, pH, alcohol, quality is the target variable. Okay, now uh, we have imported string indexer, right? So for alcohol, uh, we have to do label encoding and convert into a numerical column, right? So for that, I'm using string indexer and I'm passing input column as alcohol and the output column I want is alcohol index. And once we create this, I am using dot fit on the train data and I am transforming on the train data itself. But we can use this alcohol indexer to transform on the test data so that we get the uh, transformed alcohol index on the test data alcohol column. Let me run this command. Here we should see alcohol index as a new column, which is the transformed column of the existing alcohol categorical column. We have a lot of columns and I want to select only some columns for modeling. So I am selecting few columns and I have ignored alcohol because we are we are including alcohol index and also quality is a output column. So I am also ignoring that. Now we have to convert these features into a vector. For that I am using vector assembler where the input columns is the input column that I am defining here 
and output column is the features. So I want to transform this into a feature vector. Let me run this and see how the output looks like. So these are the columns we have and the feature column looks like this. This is a vector of all the features that we are using in input columns. Awesome. Now we have this vector and we can directly use this to pass in the per modeling. Let me create a modeling data frame by selecting only features and quality which is a input variables and quality is a target variable. Let me run this and it should have only two columns. And we can directly use this train df as is for modeling but I am just creating a modeling df just for simple and clean purposes. Now uh, as is a multi-class classification I mean let me use the entry classifier and I am keeping label column as quality and features column as features. Those are the two columns we just created and I have this uh, dt model and I am doing a dot fit on the data frame that we have. Now we have the model created and using this model I am transforming on the modeling data frame itself which is the training data. Let me run this and we should get the prediction. See we have the features and the quality and draw prediction and we have the probability as well. So probability for each class and of course uh, we are also getting the final prediction what's the class that we are predicting. So if the wine quality is 5, 7, 6 etc. Based on the probability we can also take a max of this and get the prediction. So now using this model we have transformed on the training data. And we can also use evaluation methods that they have already provided for us in pyspark.ml.evaluation and I am using multi-class classification evaluator to get the area under curve. And using this I am defining label column as quality. Uh, right, we, we have the label column as quality. If we hover on this, we will get to know what are the default values for label column. Let me hover on this. Okay, it's not coming for some reason. Let, uh, let's ignore that. And using this evalu evaluated DT, I am evaluating the predictions which gives the area under curve as an in output. And we have 0.6 as an AUC. Awesome. It's not very bad. It's okay-ish. Now let's see how we can transform it on test data. We have test df which we have split the original data into train and test right. What we have to do is we have to use all the transformers that we have built and transform them on the test data frame. So I am using alcohol indexer which converts the categorical alcohol column into uh, numerical column and then I am using vector assembler to create a vector of all the features that we have. And then I am using the model that we have created to transform on the test data frame which is coming from the vector assembler. And finally we will get test predictions. Let me run this and see how it looks like. See we have all the features and this is how we get. Right we have alcohol index and what are the feature vector. How the feature vector looks like. Prop prediction, probability and then the final prediction. Awesome. And now let's use the evaluator DT that we have created to evaluate our predictions on the test data. Let me run this and the area under curve is 0.58 and the area under curve on train data is 0.6. Yeah, this is pretty much uh, in sync. These are we can apply different transformers that are in the pyspark.ml on the raw data set and, and we have seen how we can use estimators Currently we have used decision tree classifier and similarly pyspark.ml provides us a lot of estimators and different models based on the use case that we are dealing with. Awesome. In this video we have seen uh, simple estimators and transformers and we have applied on the raw data. And this though we can build models in pyspark using sparkml and this is very easy to use. And in the next video we will see how to make the whole process simple using pipelines because here when we want to transform on the test data we have to use all the transformers and estimators that we have used in the training pipeline and we have to use them on the test data right. So instead of that we can leverage pipelines and get the predictions on test data using this dot transform on the pipeline. Thank you so much guys. That's the end of this video. If you like this video please do like share and subscribe to my channel and if you are on LinkedIn Please tag me and share your thoughts on this video and the current ongoing series getting started with PySpark hands on and this will motivate me to make more such videos guys.